NextGen Plants is commercialising a new technology that can prevent crop viruses from wiping out billions of dollars in the local economies of agricultural communities around the world. Every year, plant viruses cause 60 billion US dollars in damage and destroy crops that could feed millions of people. These viruses retard growth and cause malformation, which makes produce unattractive for consumers, creating waste. And once infected, there's no cure. Whole farms and farming communities can be devastated for years. New virus threats are emerging every year and no country is immune. We recently discovered that plant viruses produce small RNAs and that this small RNA is able to interfere with the plant's immune system, therefore making the plants more susceptible to virus attacks. So Next-gen technology has used this information and this knowledge to create a strategy to make plants resistant. In particular, we use a non-GM approach while we use part of the plant's genome, its old genetic makeup, to make the plant resistant. This resembles the natural breeding process. The only difference is that NextGen can do it much faster. The natural breeding technology takes about 10 years to create disease-resistant plants. In our case, we can do it between 9 and 18 months. This saves a lot of money, especially uh, GM plants, when they are produced, it takes tens of millions of dollars to go through the costly regulatory approval to commercialize them. We've demonstrated the technology in tomatoes and now we're starting to move on to other commercially relevant crops. The investment that we've received from two of Australia's leading venture capital firms, combined with the collaborative R&D projects that we have with the second largest plant biotech company in the world, as well as one of the major multinational food and beverage companies, confirms the value of this technology in the marketplace. We offer a low cost alternative to conferring virus resistance that really enhances the way that plant breeding operates. We're looking at um, the technology here. This part is part of the plant, the tomato plant. Initially you start with the leaves. After that, small plantlets appear and then they get a little bit bigger, they get isolated here. We then have the whole plant and this plant is then ready to go and to transfer it to pots and then onto the field. Food security is a major issue. About 700 million people already don't have enough food to eat and we have to increase food production by 70% until 2050. We hope that the next-gen technology is going to contribute to this goal by feeding more people. We're excited about the next-gen technology and together with our commercial partners we will take it to the next level which means the whole world can benefit.